This is how I save money. I mean, honestly, I'm going to spend three to four or five grand a year in fuel. Or I can do this and replace a fuel pump and a fuel filter once a year. And uh, yeah, it makes a lot more sense. I mean, if you can replace a fuel filter and a fuel pump, it might be the way to go to you for you if you got a junkyard around. All my vehicles pay for themselves. Woo! That's right, baby. It's like 60 bucks right there, free. doing a video on gas right now but this little bastard's been running around in my attic hey buddy yeah you're probably gonna stay in there for now sorry I'm gonna let you go somewhere nice but this gray squirrel here has been up in my attic oh yes I know you're pissed huh you gotta stay in there <laughs> you're mean Jesus yeah. <laughs> He's going for a ride. Here you go, Mr. Gray Squirrel. Let's go for a ride. I mean, most of the vehicles I've bought and run are under $1,000 a piece. If you can run free gas out of that for six months out of the year, and then it, and then it just implodes on itself because it, you're running free gas, so it's completely junk now. The vehicle still paid for itself. You still made out. I mean, when you're spending $100 a week on gas, and you run $2,500 worth of fuel through it, a $1,000 car, well, you just came out on top. It's a pretty cool takeaway. All right, I'm gonna let this guy out here. It's new life, down by the tracks. Here he goes. And he's off. You looking for him, huh? <laughs> She's over there staring up at the box now. She's like, where did he go? He's gone, Maisie. He's gone. I caught him. He went bye bye. <laughs> no more squirrels. No more squirrels. Yes, I know. <laughs> she loves chasing squirrels alright so where was I I'm going to give you guys some insight into something that I've done for the last 10 years it's kind of a little secret hesitant to tell people about it just because not everybody can do it is run junkyard gas recycled fuel I tell people recycled gas They're like what is recycled gas I'm like well it's gas that somebody else bought and then when they junked their car it was still in there and then I'm using it in my vehicle now so therefore it was recycled the first when I first started doing it I was running like a 99 GMC truck and that thing got not great gas mileage <clears throat> but I burned the hell out of the junkyard fuel and at the time what was I doing at the time I'm not even sure I think I was just like wrenching here and there on, on people's stuff and doing odd jobs so it was, it was a big money saver you know I think it was at a, at a point in time where I really couldn't afford to fill it up actually every week and that's kind of what turned me on to it i paid 150 dollars for this vehicle i drove it for two years on junkyard gas i would have spent like 10 grand on just the fuel alone this car paid for itself many times over and a lot of those miles was actually making money because at the time i was doing uber and lyft i used to get quarrels with people on reddit all the time about it and they would be like i'd be like dude i probably am the most profitable one out there and or one of the most profitable uber and lyfts out there and it's still kind of a stretch to, to call it worth it uh, you know because when you figure you're not my expenses were literally insurance and maintenance vehicle maintenance which I do all myself the vehicle that I was running my uber with I paid $150 for and all of my fuel or I would say like 90% of my fuel was free so cash in your pocket you know cash in your pocket plus you get the write-off on mileage which is kind of nice so i think i've probably burned 
10, 15 grand in junkyard fuel over the last decade, if not more. It's probably even, it's probably way more than that. Just, that's just what I can think of off the top of my head with a couple of vehicles that I've been doing it with. If you buy a vehicle for a thousand dollars and you have to put a fuel pump in it that year and you have to do fuel filter that year, but that year you would have burned three thousand dollars worth of fuel, well, you're ahead, you know. It's, it, it's a no-brainer for me where I've got the, the hookup for it. And, and for a lot of people, it's, a, it's an incredible ex, expense that uh, has, it adds up. It really does. For me, if you're driving a brand new car, maybe this isn't for you. But if you're driving an old beater and you have any mechanical ability at all, and you have a junkyard in your area, and they're willing to give you free fuel, go for it. Well, you got to uh, you want to leave like a good inch or so on the bottom there because there's all kinds of stuff. Although this one's actually pretty clean. It takes about three. Three or four. Anyways, if this helped you, drop a like, subscribe. I've got some other videos coming up that I know you guys are going to like. The, uh, there's a big project that I helped uh, so this other popular guy, you might know him by the name of Andrew Camerata. I uh, helped him do some digging. I got some videos of that. And then there was another, there was a couple other videos I was going to work on. Or, you know, If it helped you, oh well. If it doesn't help you, I hope you found it interesting. That's how I've saved thousands of dollars running junkyard gas. That was nice.